How's it going guys? In today's video, we're going to be going over how we can implement a double tap gesture in SwiftUI. And we can even do this with triple taps or single taps, but I'll just be showing you the basic concept behind this feature. So the first thing I want to demonstrate is the app. If we tap on it once, it's going to change the circle to green. Now it says to try tapping it twice, which we can do and it's going to change it to red. And if we tap it once again, it will change it back to green and so on. So it's just a very simple way to implement these tap gestures, which you can use later if you want to build a game or build some more sophisticated UI features. But anyways, the first thing we have to do is go to Xcode and create a new project. We will click on app and then click on next. We will call this double taps, lols. And we will make sure that Swift UI is implemented for the interface and that we're using Swift and click on next. Then go ahead and specify a project location and click on create. So the first thing we will do is minimize the sidebars, pick an iPhone 13 and minimize this and click on resume. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and create two state variables. The first one is going to be add state private var caller. And that's going to be set to caller.gray. Then we will go ahead and type in at state private var tutorial text so we can tell the user what they have to do. And initially it's going to be set to tap the circle. And inside the body, we will go ahead and type in vstack. We will create a text that holds the tutorial text. And under that, we will go ahead and create a circle. And we want this circle to have a width of 200 and a height of 200 as well. So it's a perfect square circle. And I wanted to have a foreground color of color. Now we can go ahead and implement the on tap gesture. So to do that, we type in on tap gesture and we decide what kind of code we want to go inside. So now we can make anything tappable just by adding on tap gesture. But what we really want is to be able to recognize whether it's one tap or two taps. And that's where we have this special modifier, which is called the count. So for this example, I want it to be recognized after two taps that this happens. And inside here, what we want to change is the self.caller and we want to change it to caller.red. Then we want to go ahead and change the self.tutorial text to isn't that cool. And you can even include a print statement if you want just to test it out, that's up to you. But now if we go ahead and quick preview the program, we can double tap on it and it will turn red. But as you saw earlier, I went ahead and implemented also a single tap. So to do that, we're just going to stack the on tap gestures. So here we'll type in on tap gesture and we can also specify the counts, which will just be one in this situation. And inside here, we will just copy this part right here and paste it inside. Change the caller to green and change the tutorial text to now try tapping it twice. And one thing I learned that's very important in SwiftUI is that we keep these in this order, which means the highest number count should be on top and the lowest number count on the bottom. And my theory is that it kind of works like an if else statement, which means first it checks this. And if this is true, it does that else it moves on to the next one and it recognizes that if that's the case. I tried it the other way around and it doesn't work. So make sure it goes from high numbers to low numbers when it comes to the count. But now if we go ahead and tap on the circle, you'll see it will turn green. If we double tap it, it's going to turn red. And I believe we can do it with higher numbers such as three. So let's go ahead and try that. So now I tapped it once and if I tap it three times, it's going to turn red but it doesn't work now if I only tap it twice. It will only turn green because those were the only two options we specified. But with that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.